Hi, and welcome to 3D Natives Lab. I'm Elliot, and today we're going to review the Nexa 3D Z. The Xip is a newcomer to the desktop presence 3D printers market. Announced by the California-based Nexus 3D at Formnext in November 2021, it has been highly anticipated ever since. Despite being Nexus 3D's first desktop resin machine, the Xip is a result of the manufacturer's experience building industrial resin 3D printers since 2018. The story behind the Xip ecosystem is actually quite interesting, as, according to Nexus 3D, it was developed at the request of customers wanting to benefit from Nexa's LSPC printing technology without having to use a large industrial machine. LSPC, or Lubricant Sub-Layer Photo Curing, is a custom version of the popular MSLA technology. Those customers wanted more accessible printing, which was not only reserved to factory workers. With the XIP ecosystem, the goal is to enable engineers and other professionals to innovate and 3D print from their own office. The ecosystem includes the 3D printer itself, the wash and cure post-processing machine, as well as an air filter, which we unfortunately didn't have the chance to test yet. Over the last few weeks, we've had the opportunity to review this new resin desktop 3D printer, and now we are ready to share our experience with you. Now that you know more about Nexus 3D and the XIP, let's focus on its technical specs, starting with the hardware. On the outside, the XIP is a well-built, compact and robust machine. Its frame is mostly made out of aluminum and the Z-axis is driven by a lead screw and two linear rails ensuring precise movement. In terms of dimensions, the XIP has a global footprint of 420 by 350 by 530 mm and boasts a print volume of 195 by 115 by 210 mm which makes a total volume of 4.8 liters. The X and Y axes, as for any MSLA 3D printers, use an LCD. In the XIP's case, this LCD is 9.3 inches diagonally, 4K and monochromatic, ensuring fast print speeds, longer lifespan and high detail reproduction. As we talked about earlier, the XIP uses LSPC technology. Essentially, it's the same as MSLA, as it has monochromatic LCD but differs from it by using a lubricated membrane. This slightly elastic and lubricated membrane aims to mitigate standard resin printing's biggest flow, the layer peeling process. Once printed, each and every layer must be peeled from the membrane where it was printed to make room for the next layer. When peeling off, some of the more fragile parts can come off, or even worse, the printed part can create a suction cup and tear the membrane. According to the manufacturer, this LSPC technology makes the layer peeling process more gentle and improves print speed. Also, to ensure a smoother workflow, Nexus 3D created custom-made reusable material cartridges, which easily slot into the printer and allow automatic filling up of the vat thanks to an ultrasonic sensor. These cartridges are equipped with an RFID tag, which can communicate information like material type and batch number to the printer and the slice. Despite this information, the 3D printer is unable to monitor the level of resin left in the cartridges and can't update the cartridges with new material details once refilled. Not a blocking point, but some potential improvements for the future. On the software side of things, the XIP 3D printer relies on Nexus 3D's own slicer, Nexa X. What makes it stand out is that it is a custom-developed freemium slicing software, meaning that it is free to use but includes some paid functionalities that will allow you to tweak more printing settings and will enable you to print resin from other manufacturers. But it does come at quite a cost, being just shy of $1,200 per year. Other than the premium options, the free version of the slicer includes most of the basic tools, allowing the user to place, move and rotate models, add automatic or manual supports and estimate the print time and material usage. But it doesn't stop here. Even the free tier of the software includes array duplication as well as automatic mesh fix. The slicer also enables wireless printing thanks to a dedicated cloud interface. Despite all these features, we still find some downfalls, as Nexa X only supports STL and OBJ file formats, 
whereas 3MF is unfortunately forgotten. We hope that Nexus Ready will update its software to enable 3MF support, as we did notice some slowing down when manipulating larger files or complex arrays, even when running on a powerful computer. Having sliced our first model, we're now ready to print. During our time with a Zip Desktop Presence Ready printer, we were able to test a diverse range of materials, similar to ABS, PP and Peak, but also a custom resin made by Henkel Loctite, which combines speed, low cost and precision. In total, Nexus 3D offers 17 different resins, compatible with a Zip right out of the box. But when combining the premium slicer with a custom resin cartridge, the list of compatible resins expands pretty fast, as any resin made for MSLA can also be supported. For our first prints, we automatically filled up the vat with the ABS-like resin, which pressed pretty easy. This was made possible by the Nexus 3D brand cartridges coupled to an ultrasonic sensor. While the tank was filling up by itself, we headed into Nexus to prepare our models for printing. Once this was done, we were able to send our prints wirelessly to the printer directly from the slicer. Finally, we just had to start the print from the machine's touchscreen. During the printing process, the 5.5 inch touchscreen displayed some basic information about the print, such as print type, model name, as well as a preview of the model and the lay currently being printed. We printed a wide range of models, such as mechanical parts, architectural, figurines, cases, dental models, but also complex geometrical structures, such as lattice or Voronoi designs. Let's now let them speak for themselves by taking a look. Having printed with a broad variety of materials, we can confirm the XIPS material compatibility. All the pre-configured printing profiles we used didn't require any tweaking and ensured optimal printing straight out of the box. After every print, the models require post-processing. This is common to any resin 3D printer. To ease the post-processing process, Nexus 3D has developed a wash and cure machine for the XIP. This machine is not mandatory to use the printer but it does make the whole workflow smooth. At a base price of almost $6,000 on its own, or up to about $10,500 for the full package, Nexus 3D's Zip is a pricey desktop presence 3D printer. But when factoring in the fairly low cost of consumables such as resin and vat membranes, the Zip is actually quite in range with its competitors. Thanks to the wide variety of proprietary materials and the custom pre-configured profiles developed by the US-based manufacturer, the Zip is very versatile straight out of the box. Despite some issues with the slice slowing down and the proprietary material cartridges not using the smart feature's full potential, the Zip is a great entryway into the Nexus 3D brand and a serious new contender to the desktop presence 3D printers market. After a few weeks of testing and experimenting, we rated the Nexus 3D Zip with our usual criteria, giving it a final score of 9.3 out of 10. Read our written article here to find out exactly how we got to this score. To discover other 3D printers tests we have done, pick here. See you soon for our next test on 3D Native Lab.